So a huge part of content creation for me is making sure that I have a clean space to work in. A clean space to me means a clearer mind. So for the past few months, I've been using new cleaning products from Blue Land. I really wanted to make some sustainable lifestyle changes. In doing so, I realized how difficult it was to find cleaning products that don't contain single-use plastic. So all of Blue Land's products have naturally derived ingredients, which means they're free of parabens, chlorine, bleach, and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. Both the dishwasher washer tablets and the cleaning tablet have been proven to lift some of the toughest stains. So in my blue lane kit, I received some powdered dish soap, a dish soap container. It also came with dishwasher detergent tablets and even a cute container to store your dishwasher tablets. And then in the second box, I received some cleaning bottles that once again do not contain single use plastic. And I love how they are all easily labeled, which makes the process of inserting the tablet super easy. And not only are the products recyclable, but the packaging of the actual refills are also compostable. So the process of setting up each product was so easy. Each bottle showed you exactly how much water you need to fill each container with, and then you simply insert the tablet and then they're ready to use. So not only are these products super effective, but they are also super affordable. Currently, Blue Land is sharing a special offer just for my viewers. All you have to do is click my link below to get up to 30% off your first kit. And if you're looking to get even more savings, you can buy the products in bulk or you can set up a subscription. Their subscriptions are customizable and convenient so you never run out of your most used products. So I am so happy that I was able to find new cleaning products that are not only beneficial to my health but also the environment around me and I encourage you guys to also join me in making a lifestyle change. So once again make sure you guys click the link in the description box down below to shop Blue Land and thank you Blue Land for working with me on today's video. Make sure you guys go check them out. What is up, King Killers? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm back with another vlog. I just wanted to come on and do a quick intro. I hope y'all enjoy the video today. Make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video, y'all. Made a glass of way you said to me. You know me better than I do. You seem to keep nothing from another vlog i hope y'all enjoyed my cinematic intro i tried to do now we are in the gym not the gym my garage gym but yes finally starting to cool off outside a little bit more where i can finally put this area to use during the summertime it was just too damn hot to be trying to work out of here but now i feel like i can do a little something in here. So I've been using this app where I have a online personal trainer. I'm not gonna go too much into details about it cause I will be talking about that a little bit later down the line, not in this video, but basically I have a new workout to complete every single day and I have to log in my progress on the app with my trainer. So I gotta do my little daily workout even though I don't feel like it. Yesterday was arm day and girl, my arms is sore as hell. So um, I'm about to get to it, get my daily workout in. 
Hey. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, about to. That was my neighbor. Just had a nice little conversation. Hey Alexa, play hip hop and R&B. The station, 2000s hip hop on Amazon Music. I didn't say 2000s. Hey Alexa. Wait till I get my money right. Hey, Just finished today's workout. Enjoy the rest of your day. Y'all know when y'all see this room, y'all know it's about to go down. Workout went good, took me a shower. I'm about to do a quick glam. I got a few errands that I need to run. Um, I need to go to the post office. I need to get some boxes to ship off some packages for y'all. Um, I did a giveaway in my last video, so I need to get some boxes so that I can ship those off. I need to go to the mall. Do I really need to go to the mall? No, but when you work from home and do everything from home, sometimes you just gotta think of an excuse to go out and do stuff, you know? Cause if I don't, I will literally sit in this house comfortably and be chilling if I don't like think of a reason to go outside. So I'm finding an excuse to go to the mall and look for some workout shoes. And plus, I'm getting all glam, about to be all cute. I better go outside. I've been doing my makeup for the past three days, trying to get content done. I'm doing my makeup today and somebody gonna see it when I go outside. It's three o'clock right now. I got about two more hours before it starts to get dark. I hate how dark it gets during the fall time. Like how quick it gets dark, I mean. I just feel like after six o'clock, it just feels like the day is over for trying to get stuff done you know what i mean so i got these ysl little lip glosses well they're not really they're like chapsticks i guess i thought it was like a regular lipstick but when you put it on it's like a clear gloss with like a little pink tint to it see i have been using this one every single day i really like it okay so it's 306 i'm gonna say i'm gonna be done with my makeup by 3 45 if i don't put a time limit on it i'll be sitting here all day just playing and makeup taking my sweet time out i'm gonna give y'all a little ootd even though i ain't wearing nothing too crazy y'all should know by now most of my wardrobe is from fashion nova but so i just have on this bodysuit plain little gray bodysuit then i just paired it with jeans that i got from fashion nova i'm just gonna pair it with these yeezys that i've had for forever pants are kind of long you won't be able to see them anyway but for perfume we're gonna do a little bit of black opium today This definitely gives me fall vibes. Boom, bop, bop, boom. Pow. Oh! Okay, let me stop playing. Okay, so my first stop is the post office because they close at five and it's four right now. So I need to go there first and get some boxes. I got 
three large boxes to put some of the giveaway beauty products in. How many views does my last video got? So it's got 54K views. And I was just like, dang, my subscribers really do not be caring about nothing I have to say if it's not a vlog. Like if I'm not showing y'all my life, talking about my life y'all don't be caring and that low-key hurt my feelings because i be wanting to do other content besides vlogs sometimes and that's why i have like a love-hate relationship with vlogs now because y'all don't be caring about watching my videos if i'm not vlogging if i start posting other stuff besides vlogs can y'all watch it like i enjoy doing vlogs but they are a lot of work and sometimes i just be wanting to sit down and talk but y'all don't be watching those videos and yeah i don't i don't appreciate that from the kinky loose. but anyways now was well, gonna go to the mall but i also want to go to target what, what should i do first should i save the mall for another day and just go to target target is like therapy for me like just going to target the person next to me is just staring at me in my soul and making me feel really awkward right now but i'm just gonna stare into the camera and act like I don't see them. Yeah, what was I saying? Going to Target is like, it's just so relaxing. I don't know. It's just something about the atmosphere in Target. It's just walking around. They be playing good music in there. The Target by me has Starbucks in there. So you can get you some Starbucks and walk around. I just love walking around Target and picking up stuff that I know I don't need. Oh, that's what I wanted to go to the mall for. I wanted to go to the mall also for Bath and Body Works um, plugins. I love their plugins. And I don't want to get like fall scents like pumpkin spice latte and cinnamon like i don't li really like i used to force myself to think that that's the kind of fall scents that i wanted in my house because i just thought like okay it's fall time that's what you're supposed to get but i really do not like those scents and i just feel like i was forcing myself to like the generic scents that you're supposed to have in your house around fall but i do just want some regular smell goods that i usually get just like you know like the clean fresh plug-in so i want to go to bath and body works and get those and i wanted to go to find some workout shoes i wanted some white workout shoes because i only have a black pair and i wanted some white ones so i wanted to look for that and then target i don't really have any reason to go to target i just wanted to go to target so i probably should just go to the mall i'm just thinking out loud right now Okay, so Starbucks was right next to the mall, so I'm about to stop and get me a little drinky drink, you know? I'm not really a huge Starbucks girl. I feel like once it starts to get cold, I like me a little Starbucks drink every now and then. Plus, I'm feeling the fall vibes right now, you know? It's like, why not get me a little fall Starbucks drink? In the mall I'm going to, y'all, it is not one of the those fancy malls or one of the malls that got all the nice stores i feel like every city has that one mall that nobody really goes to where the older folks go to get their walk in because nobody be in the mall i don't know that's how it be in my city i feel like every city has that one mall that don't really got nothing that's the mall i'm going to but they do got bath and body works and they do got clear so i can get me some new earrings starbucks what can i do for you today Hi, can I have a caramel brulee latte? That'd be a tall for you? Yes. What else can I get for you today? That'll be all. Y'all, I don't know what I just ordered. I guess it's one of their holiday drinks, so. I've been in this line so long, y'all. I got me some cute pictures, though. Like, what? Like, what? Thank you. Okay, let's see, y'all. Oh, this tastes like a regular, tastes like what I usually get. It's good though. Okay, so I just made it to the mall. My Starbucks. I feel like a true vlogger right now. I told y'all this mall literally is always so empty. When I was in Girl Scouts, I remember we spent the night in this mall. All the Girl Scouts, we spent the night in here. And it was really cool. So this is what I came in here for y'all. And look at the holiday plugins they have. Hey y'all, so I just finished getting some dinner. 
It's only 6.30, y'all. I was like, I might as well get some dinner since I'm out. Favorite Mexican restaurant. I probably order from them on DoorDash at least once a week. I will see you when I get to mi casa. Hey y'all, so it is a new day and today as y'all can see we are in the kitchen. The face is beat hunty. I had to finish doing a little intro for another video so your girl is definitely glam again. Y'all know I love decorating and finding new DIY stuff to do in the house. So on today's episode of Kennedy's Hood DIY Baddie on a Budget projects we are going to be redecorating my countertops we're going to be using contact paper as y'all can see i got some contact paper right here um and let me show y'all i already did like a little test run it didn't come out super perfect but this will give you an idea so i did this little section and it came out pretty good so after i did that one little small section i immediately realized i was not going to have enough contact paper so i ordered two more packs off of amazon and it came today literally ordered it last night and it literally came today at noon so amazon prime is amazon prime and again i also got some tools to help me with this this little scrapers to help get out all the air bubbles and then i also got a exacto knife to help cut the edges yeah, i'm actually super excited i have a vision of my dream home type of countertops i would want to have and just i just would i would want everything to be customized until i'm able to afford my dream home why not pretend and make the home that I have now feel as luxury and bougie as I can. I also got new cabinet knobs, just regular knobs to replace these. And then for these single knobs up here, I just have these right here. I'm so happy I did my measurements right because I measured everything last night and they actually do fit. So we're about to get started. I'm about to clean off all the countertops. Soldier boy too. Hey, I got the new damn for y'all, call me Soldier Boy. You just got a punch, then crank back three times from left to right. Soldier Boy, I've been in. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy? That Superman that all oh. that why me you? Crank that Soldier Boy. Now 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 why? Soldier Boy, I've been in. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Today is Sunday. I finished my countertops today. This project was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. And the perfectionist in me really wants to do them all over again. I know that sounds crazy because they look pretty good, but there's just like little small things that I wish I could redo and they just stick out to me. Besides that, I'm happy with how they came out. Halfway through me doing the countertops, I started watching videos, which I should have done before I even started. And a lot of the tutorials were like, you need a, a heat gun. I ain't even never heard of no heat gun before, but halfway through I, ordered this on Instacart and I started using this and I was so mad because I wish I would have used it. I wish I would have used this from the beginning to help me make the corners a lot smoother. The videos that I was watching were saying to use caulk, caulk, caulk. Yeah, to like seal the edges around the sink. So I didn't use this yet because if I do want to redo them, probably wouldn't make sense to put this on yet. So, but this process took too long for me to do right now. So it might be a while before I actually redo them and make them look more perfect. But besides that, I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, I didn't do the cabinet knobs yet because I did say that I was going to do those as well. But your girl is tired from just doing these countertops. So maybe in the next vlog, y'all will see me do the cabinet knobs, changing those out. 
but for now it looks pretty good in here and i'm happy with how it came out that's my update on the countertops let me know how y'all feel about them do you like them do you love them i know it's gonna be a few people like i like the other countertops you should have left it okay so y'all know i went to the mall on friday and i told y'all i wanted to go to bath and body works so i could get some plugins so i did get my plugins i did try to look for some new workout shoes i didn't see any the last place that i went to in a mall was claire's had to re restock on my little studs i'm always like taking them out and sitting them on my nightstand and then i don't know where they be going so got me some more little studs and then y'all i got a nose ring so i was looking at my little i got like a little mark on my nose from when i had my nose pierced and it made me wonder whether or not my nose ring hole is still open or not so i wanted to see y'all i just want to see if it's still gonna work if i can still have a nose ring this one's like a cute little heart shape we're going to test it out it literally worked but it's kind of cute i don't know should i leave it in i remember when i first got my nose pierced and i called my mama and i told her she was so mad and then after i showed her she was like oh it's actually kind of cute and then she was okay with it after that maybe i need to get a smaller one i think a smaller one might be a little cuter but i didn't think it was gonna work but it did right now i'm about to go through all of this makeup this is all of the stuff for the giveaway well most of it you never know if i see something i like i might have to keep it for myself you know what i'm saying and then i forgot i even got this box right here which is full of nail stuff come here jump I was receiving a ton of DMs on Instagram from people saying that they received a message from somebody pretending as me saying that they won the giveaway. I have not announced any winners. If I do announce the winners, I will be DMing them on Instagram first from my personal Simply Kennedy underscore account. That is the only account that I have. I don't have a Finsta, I don't have a fake account, a second Instagram. I have one Instagram, so please do not get caught up in responding to anybody that is not me pretending to me, pretending to be me. There is definitely people out there that be scamming for no reason, and it's really sad. But um, yeah, so make sure you check that it's my official account, um, and also the only email account that I use is the one that's linked in my Instagram bio. So if it's not the email that's linked on my Instagram bio or my simply kennedy underscore account then it is not me okay y'all so i have all three giveaway boxes and then here's all the stuff that i'm keeping this was a super quick and easy meal for dinner tonight we got some air fryer chicken with some pasta salad usually i would have added some cucumbers in it but i ain't had no cucumbers so that is what i'm having for dinner pasta salad is one of my favorites and tomatoes with it bomb 